Right, I've created a new sketch and I've saved it as ACS712. So let's get started. We will need to define a pin. So define, um, let's say ACS712, and that's going to be A0. And then over here, we'll do uh, pin mode. So we need pin mode ACS712, and that's going to be an input. Then in the loop, we need to read from it. So analog read ACS712. And actually, analog. OK, so Control and T, Control and S. Now we will add in serial stuff. So serial.begin. 115200, that's the one I usually use. And here we'll say serial.println println that stuff. And now I'm going to upload, oh no, yeah, I'll upload it. What's happening here? It's complaining about something. Compiling sketch, and so. I'm going to upload it to the nano and then we should be able to immediately start reading in values. So it's done uploading now and then I'll press Control, Shift and M to get the serial console up. And I expect to see a lot of numbers. Perfect, that is what we're seeing. So, um, what's happening here? You can see that the numbers are 511, something like that. 511, 510 around about 5112 and what happens here is that the ACS712 will return a number from 0 to 1024 or 1023 actually and 512 means the middle and um, the middle of what you might be thinking 0 uh, amps equates to the middle of the range so 512 means 0 amps so if it said 0, that would mean something near minus 30 amps. And if it said uh, 1023, that would mean somewhere near plus 30 amps. And um, the minus is there for, um, well, obviously minus amperage. So if amperage is flowing backwards, um, you would use minus. If it is flowing forwards, it would use plus. So yeah, it's bidirectional. The first thing I want to do here, though, is get this thing um, balanced so you can see here that the most common value or I can see here, the most common value is 511 uh, or 510 so uh, I need to I need to add one to it really so let's go here analog read we want to do plus one and then uh, control T control S control U to re-upload and this 51 uh, 510, 511 should now be 512 and that's exactly what I want so control shift M I'm seeing a lot more 512's now so that's a good thing so I've balanced this off now what I need to do is go back over to the uh, Arduino um, sorry not the Arduino the power supply and I need to apply some current so when I apply some current I expect that the value is going to go up or down depending on the polarity. I want this thing to be uh, going up, I want it to be positive. So when I apply amperage, I want this number to go up. If it goes down, I've wired it in reverse. So I'm just going to go over there now and I'm going to try this out. So I'll apply some current. So there's 1 amp, 2 amps, 3 amps, 4 amps. I could go a bit further, but there's not really much point. So that's good. So the values did go up and not down. So that means that I've wired it correctly and the polarity is right. If you get minus and you, know, you get something like uh, 400 or something like that, then just swap the two wires around that go into the screw terminal adapter and it will it will start working. So I'm going to turn the amperage back down again now and then I'll come back here 
and um, we'll start changing the code to, mi to mean something uh, more useful. So I'll just turn it back down. Okay, we've got no current again, and therefore it's gone back down to 512. Right, let's make this more useful now. So this 512, I mentioned just earlier um, that it was out of 1024 uh, different points. Um, and the reason for that is because the Arduino has a 10-bit ADC. I don't really want to go into ADCs because I've done a video about that. So if you're interested in ADCs, have a look uh, at that video, Analog to Digital Converters. But anyway, it's a 10-bit ADC, so it goes up to 1024. But that 1024... Uh, represents a voltage between 0 and 5 volts and what we need to do to be able to make this thing useful is we need to convert that back into voltage so currently we've got counts or points we need voltage so I'm gonna convert this number now back into voltage so um, we know straight away that of you know, if we were to get 512 out of 1024, that would be half. And half of 5 volts is 2.5 volts. Um, but anyway, let's get into the code now, and we'll make a few changes. So, the first thing we need to do is know the voltage per point, or voltage per count. And I know what that is, because I, I know the ADC fairly well. It's 5 millivolts. But if I just get the calculator up, uh, we can get that a bit more precise. So we want 5 volts divided by 1024 counts, which is 0 0.048 uh, volts. So I'll copy that number and paste up here. We need um, float voltage per point equals, oops, there we go equals that, which actually is just under 5 millivolts. So press Control and T, Control and S. So voltage per point or voltage per count. Now what we need to do is um, change this reading here into voltage and it's surprisingly uh, very easy. Let's um, have another variable here. Let's say int um, counts, yeah, int counts equals this, int counts equals this, and now we want to have another one, we need to have float voltage equals the amount of counts multiplied by voltage per point or voltage per count. So each count out of 1024 represents 5 millivolts. And if you um, use a calculator or whatever, you can, you can see how I've got to that. Um, but anyway, let's do Control and T, Control and S again. And um, we should have voltage now. So what I'm going to do is uh, put this in here. So I'm going to say voltage. Voltage. I think I'll need to uh, read that in as a string, or it probably won't work. So Control T, Control S, Control U, and we'll re-upload. And now this should give us uh, voltage. So uh, it says uploading and done uploading. So Control Shift and M. When I do this, it should be two and a half volts. Yeah, perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Now there is a bit of an. Uh, um, exception to this and that is that the Arduino is not always 5 volts sometimes it can be less than that I don't I don't usually see it higher than that but I do often see it less and sometimes it can go as low as 4.6 volts and if your Arduino is 4.6 volts then you might need to do a bit of adjustment but anyway just to keep it simple let's say it is 5 volts which really kind of should be anyway so we've got this 2.5 volts and now what I'm going to do is go back over to the power supply and I'm going to increase the amperage and this voltage will increase. So I'll just go over and try that now.
There's one amp, two amps, three amps, four amps, and almost five amps. So you can see the voltage has gone higher. So I'll just turn that back down again now. Now if I was to reverse the polarity, um, then the voltage would go lower. And I think, did we max out at about 2.8 volts there? Something like that. So if we were to uh, reverse the polarity, this would go down instead and it would go to 2.2 volts. But anyway, that's, that's neither here or there. So now we've got the voltage, we need to go a step further and work out the actual amount of current uh, which the ACS712 is reading. So we need to make some more changes. Right, so back to the sketch. Um, what do we need to do now? Let's put a few breaks in there. Right, we need to now take away the offset. So this 2.5 volts, we need to take that away because 2.5 volts for us, because we're working with um, with uh, the polarity uh, basically plus amps and not minus amps, we need to take off that 2.5 volts. So uh, let's do this. Voltage um, minus equals 2.5 volts. Minus equals means um, voltage is itself take away 2.5. Um, so there you go. So control and T control and S and control and U. And what this will do now is it will take away that 2.5 volt offset and leave us with, uh, well, starting at 0 volts. So control shift M, we're at 0 volts. And I'm going to go back over to the power supply again and repeat. And now we should uh, we should go up to I don't know 30 milli uh, no 300 millivolts or something like that. So I'll go over now. There's one amp, two amps, three amps, four amps, and four and a half amps. Right, so let's turn that back down again. Right, we've successfully got rid of the offset, so now we need to go even further again. So hopefully you remember earlier where I made a little bit of a fuss about that 66 millivolts per amp. And that's a really important number. So this is where we use that 66 millivolts per amp. And what it means is that this number here, this voltage... Um, however many uh, 66 millivolts are in it, that's how many amps the ACS is sensing. Um, so, so let's let's carry on. We'll add another variable over here. So float. Uh, I don't know. Let's say sensitivity. Sensitivity. Sense it if it e equals 0 0.66 and that's millivolts. Control T, Control S. 0 0.66 right now. Over here we want to have another variable and this one is amps and this is going to be a float as well. So float amperage equals this is going to be the voltage divided by the amount of 66 millivolts which are in it. So the voltage divided by 66 millivolts, actually there's a small mistake there, that's, that's uh, 660 millivolts, we want 66 millivolts, so it should be there. Right, control and uh, control T, control and S. Right, let's go back to this line here, so amperage equals voltage divided by the sensitivity. We need a semicolon there, control and T, control and S, and we need to now change amperage. We need to put amperage here. Change, actually, we'll just keep it simple and say amps. So amps equals, no, amps plus string amperage. Right, so control T, control S, control U. And now we should finally be there. So uploading 
and done uploading. So Control Shift M. So it's saying amps, and you can see that it's uh, stuck at zero at the minute. And sometimes there's this 0 0.007 or whatever. So I'm going to go over to the power supply again, and I will put amps up, and I'll tell you exactly how many amps I'm um, I'm allowing to flow through. That's 500 milliamps. That's one amp. That's 1.5 amps. That's two amps. That's two and a half amps. That's three amps. That's three and a half amps. That's four amps. And that's just under four and a half amps. So you can see that it's actually very accurate. There's just one more thing I'm going to do though. Um, let's make this a little bit easier by putting a delay in. So delay... Let's go for half a second. Delay half a second. Control T, Control S, Control U. And this will be a lot easier to read now. Uh, it won't be flashing across the screen as fast. Uh, are we done? Uploading... Done uploading. Control Shift M. Right, this should be a bit more manageable now. So I'll do the same thing again, but hopefully you'll be able to read it a bit better. So... 500 milliamps. And what does this say? 520. Right, well, the power supply says 530. This is saying 520-ish. Next. That's one amp according to the power supply. Now, you have to remember as well that the power supply isn't going to be perfectly accurate. Um, I mean, nothing is perfectly accurate. So, um, yeah, one amp. 1.5 amps. And now, for the sake of speed, I think I'll go a bit further. So, let's go to 2.5 amps. And... The Arduino says 2.52, 2.59. Uh, the power supply says 2.55. Let's go to three and a half amps. The power supply says 3.51 amps, and the Arduino says 3.48 or or so. So yeah, there's a 3.55 there. Very accurate. Let's go a bit further. This is as far as it can go now, and the power supply says 4.42 amps. And what does this say? 4. Point, yeah, 4.4. Now what you could do is you could use some sort of smoothing algorithm and get this even nicer, but um, I don't particularly care, I'm just showing you how to use it. And that's all there is to it, so that's my new video on how to use the ACS712 Hall Effect Sensor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye!